Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm doing a quick first impressions gameplay video for Magic the Gathering Tactics. I think it's a 2.5D trading card game style MMO published by Sony Online Entertainment. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out. Make some comments if you guys want to play Magic the Gathering Tactics or just learn more about it. Do check out the full review on the link below. So let's go ahead and get started over here. Now this is a game I know very little about. I actually just recently heard about this game and it actually just launched here in late January. So let's see. Welcome to Magic the Gathering Tactics you are a planeswalker a powerful mage that can summon fearsome creatures and cast incredible spells guys all my spells are incredible so you can choose a color over here now i am familiar with magic the gathering because it's actually one of the first trading card games are <laughs> trading card games out there if not the first popular trading card game it's a game i play extensively actually and i'm gonna go ahead and play let's see let's go with a green deck for now it's a simple creature style deck as you value growth life and nature blah 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 you love to hunt mate Ooh. I love to make guys. Let's click accept over there. There are five colors in the game, and let's go choose my appearance right now. I'll choose the guy in the middle. All right, I'll, I'll take this guy over here. Although I like how she's playing with her staff over there. She can play with my staff, if you know what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and name myself Remo over here. Name is probably taken, but let's see. Oh man, my name is not taken. So let's go run through one of the tutorials over here first. Moving, attacking, and turn order. You know what? I'm a baller. I can probably skip this, but you know what? Let's run the first one together for now. I should probably increase my resolution too because right now the game let's try to go away i want to increase my options over here let's go to our gameplay over here nope audio video so let's increase my resolution to max out. how awesome is this you guys get to see more we got two of these i'll go with the top one and let's go click performance level not sure what to do with that i want mac what is this uh let's go there you go hi enable shadows hi there you go get all the good stuff on over here enable lights i'm a cool guy i like my lights click accept over there hopefully it shouldn't bork out while it resized the resolution and it didn't Close this out for now, click uh, close over there, and let's go back to chapter 1 and check this tutorial out real quick. Alright guys, let's go ahead and start with chapter 1 over here. A planeswalker is a powerful mage, click OK over here and check this out. Now all I know about this game is it's supposed to be like Magic the Gathering, the card game of course, except with some tactical elements. If you've ever played Ogre Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics, or any of those style of games, you should probably be able to figure the game out. Click OK over here too. If you're a fan of those style of games, odds are you'll probably like Magic the Gathering Tactics, mainly because Magic the Gathering I think is a great card game, it's a game I've played for such a long time, and I actually still play on and off on a, on a program called OCTGN, it lets you play the game on the PC against people online. It's a lot of fun. I think the card game is easily the best trading card game out there. I've played the Pokemon trading card game, guys. I played some of the Star Wars cards games. I played a whole bunch of them, but Magic the Gathering is easily the hands down best trading card game in my opinion. I played Yu-Gi-Oh as well, guys. I played so many card games. Click OK over here. I gotta click some green squares. This is my awesome dude over here right now, which I guess is my planeswalker. I got five damage and 200 HP. That's kind of cool. Click OK over there too. Something about a zone of control. I should probably read these or pay attention, otherwise I'm gonna be totally lost. Because even though I've played Magic the Gathering, odds are this is not the same game. Because Magic the Gathering is a trading card game. This so far looks like a figurine style Mage Knight kind of game or Hero Clicks. If you've played those before, those are tabletop games. Or even Warhammer, the tabletop game. Click OK. Move the cursor around the enemy square and let's go click. Uh, let's go right over here. Let's go attack him. So there we go. My guy is running diagonally at him and go bam, smack it with my staff over there. He's going to take it and he's down to 195. So wow, this could take a long time. He's got a lot of HP as well. So he's got a counter attack too. Click OK over there. Ooh, wow, we got a lot of stuff going on over here too. Moving or attacking ends the figure's turn. So yeah, it is a turn-based. That really maybe not a trading card game. That was probably uh, probably poorly poor choice of words. Though the game I assume has a uh, deck building or some sort of figure building stats. So you can probably have multiple different kinds of units. So trading card game is actually not a bad bad description of the game, but it seems more like a tabletop style game. So my training here, how to move an attack. Click OK over there. Bam, guys, finish the first chapter like that. I am such a boss. So the game has uh, creatures as well and mana. Very familiar if you're used to Magic the Gathering, but you know what? I'm a ball. Let's go ahead and skip this for now, and we'll jump into an actual game. The core gameplay seems kind of cool too. I'm not actually a big fan of tactics game, tactics style games. I've played, I try, I've tried playing Final Fantasy Tactics, but just, it, I felt like the games took too long. But let's go check this out right now. This is a spell book over here, guys. Let's check out my spell book. Ooh, whoa, what is going on over here? You can see all the different cards in the game. So yeah, these are your, these, I guess these are your spell book. These are all sorts of spells in the game. If, and again, if you've played Magic the Gathering, you'll know what this is all about. This over here is the mana cost. It costs four colorless mana, which means you can use any mana to summon it. And mana is more like money in the game or energy. You need energy to summon your dudes, cast spells, and things like that. We click Elite Archer over here. We got, ooh, we got like speed over here. Speed is not a stat that was in Magic the Gathering. Though you have attack and HP over here too. Not sure what the bullseye over here is, but maybe crit or something. Maybe accuracy. I don't know. Oh, maybe range. That could be it because it is an archer. And we got a little time thing magic over there. But you can see all sorts of different spells and cards in the game. I assume you can buy more cards through booster packs. Kind of like you could in... 
uh, Battle Forge, which I think was a really fun MMORTS game as well. So you can save your own, own spell books over here too. So this is like your own deck building in the game. You got spells and creature cards over here. Minimum 40 cards per deck or 40 spells. I'm not sure what to call them, but let's call them cards for now. So get out of here for now. I think in Magic the Gathering, you also need 40 for a deck minimum with unlimited maximum of course if you've played the game go back to our home screen over here and click we got an auction house i'm level one so the game has some persistent elements go uh, magic the gathering tactics i was worried worried for a second that this wasn't really an mmo but it looks like you do level up in the game let's go click on my name over here oh man we got talents as well this is kind of interesting because i actually i said this again and i really do like magic the gathering i do think it's a really fun card game and i feel like if you like the card game or even if you're interested in card games you might want to check this game out so we can see talents over here what do these do over here Eye for an eye. Your creatures have a 4% chance of dealing 10 additional damage when they counterattack. So this is kind of cool. It looks like you can kind of specialize in what kind of deck you want to use. If you like, you know, white creature spells, you got green, you got black, you got blue and red. These are all the colors in the game. So yeah, I guess depending on how your deck is built, you can, you know, you can choose certain talent trees over here and kind of specialize on your deck the way you want it to be done. This gives the game a lot of uh, specialization and more, uh, more interesting gameplay mechanics. Definitely more dynamics because if you want to play magic straight up, you don't have these talents. So this does add some depth to the game. And it's kind of cool too. Can you reset these? Uh, I have no talent points to reset. Go me. Do I have any talent points? Nope. I gotta level up first to get talent points. But this is kind of cool. Unfortunately though, I feel like if you're playing against a higher level opponent, he'll have more talents than you and then it'll be kind of a you'll be at a disadvantage. Though from what I'm seeing right now, these don't look too incredibly overpowered or anything like that. Kind of like the, the talents you can, the, the wizard spells, not wizard spells, what am I talking about? The masteries in League of Legends. <laughs> So we got friends online. Nico's is my friend. He's online. I don't know how he's on my friend list, but you know what? He's my buddy. So let's get out of here and let's go play a game, guys. You saw the tutorial so far, but that's about it. Let's go do solo play. I can do some solo plays over here. Play single games against others. So you can play against opponents over here. And tournaments is kind of cool. So I guess they can probably reward you with free cards and booster packs in the game that you don't have to pay for in tournaments. Let's go check out the solo play over here. So I'm sure there's a lot of uh, interesting missions too. Let's, we get rewards for these too. We get 20 XPs. And let's go ahead and play this over here. In the world of oh man, in the world of Dominaria. Magic the Gathering actually has a really rich story and an interesting world. There's a lot of books based on the card game as well. I think the game's art is really good too, but... I never actually read too much into it, so let's go continue over here. I'm sure there's a lot of interesting... Wow, this is, a, this is a rhino warrior over there. You don't want to mess with this guy. He's going to charge and own you. So let's see. Graphically speaking, I, I don't think the game is anything too impressive, though it's not that bad either. I'm running the game on 1920 by 1080, and this is kind of big. I mean, the, the actual map looks kind of big. So we can move over here with the arrow keys too to look at the map. And the map has some interesting terrain as well, so I'm sure each game will have a lot of interesting mechanics. Uh, if you can play with more than one-on-one, -on -one, that would be really cool too. But let's see what we got over here right now. I got one mana apparently over here. I got one of these over here. Uh, on a spell to cast, on an enemy to attack, or a green square to move on. You know what? I am going to go attack these dudes, which I guess are my enemies. So let's go ahead and move over here with this guy. There's my planeswalker, I guess. My main dude over there. We can't let him die. And my little minion over there kind of following me around. Or is that that's that enemy. That's not my little minion. Let's go kill this jerk over here. So it looks like I got two mana now. So, it, again, the game is very different than the actual card game itself because it seems like we're getting mana on our own. So you don't have to have mana in your deck itself. So, wow, this guy hits for 10. What a jerk. I only hit for 5. Had to go smack him and bam, 1v1 owned. Okay, thanks, bye. He's dead. Turning into a little ghost over there. So I got some abilities over here too, which looks pretty basic. I think this is all I have. Hey, click on one of these dudes over here. Nope, these are not doing anything right now. Click this over here, get rid of that. Bring it back, I like it. So, wow, uh, objectives. Move your planeswalker onto the white teleport to move to the other side of the wall. So guys, we're gonna go right over here. These guys over there are pretty chill with me. They don't wanna fight me. So let's go back on over here. I guess a lot of these early on missions are supposed to be easy, but I can imagine this game being a very complex later on if you're playing with a nicely sized deck. Let's go attack these guys over here too. And I can already tell you one little problem with the game is probably going to be its booster pack system. If you've played Battle Forge and you really liked it, you have unfortunately a lot of the same problems with this game as you do with Battle Forge. Because in order to buy booster packs, I suspect you will have to pay real money to buy booster packs in the game. So without spending any real money, the free to play components are a bit limited. On an enemy to attack, on a, let's go fight this guy over here. Can I, can I do anything right now? Uh, let's go click this button, that button. Nope, that's, what is he doing over there? I, I am kind of lost over here too. Objective, use the Elvish Archer, Dalarki, summon to destroy the vampires. So we get to fight these guys over here. He's my dude over there. He's not an enemy. So bam, he's shooting some vampires from across over here. That vampire got one shot. He's, wow, this, this, guy, this guy over here does 20 damage. Can we click multiple units at once? Nope, we, we can only move one at a time. So let's see, use the Elvish Archer. I already did that. Let's go click you again. And let's go shoot some more vampires. He's got a lot of range too. So I guess having range, range units on your team is definitely a plus. Uh, you can keep walking around. I don't even need you, dude. My main guy kind of sucks. Let's keep using this guy. 20 DPS for the win. 
I kind of want to get into an actual game and build my own deck because there's a lot more to this game than you're seeing right now. I mean, based on what I've seen already, I can, I can tell you that this is a pretty in-depth MMO. And again, calling the MMO is a bit, bit of a stretch, though there are persistent elements. So after we kill these guys, a little bridge came out of nowhere. We can kind of cross this over here. So all these early on missions I suspect are very different than the actual core gameplay. And I say so because, I mean, this is a bit story driven, there's these little scenarios going on over here. I get to kill these guys and new things happen. I imagine when you're playing against other players, you're playing on a simple field and that's it. So we're getting mana each turn it looks like. I'm not sure how to use my mana yet. You can pass your turns as well. Remo generated 5 white and 4 green manas. But I suspect later on I can customize my deck the way I want it. And I don't think I have any cards right now or anything to use from what I'm seeing right now. So yep. Up next is move your planes walk through the skeleton zones. So we get to fight these dudes over here, these like two skeletons. But I have 180 HP, they have no chance against me. So even though they can smack me around a little bit, I am good to go. On a spell to cast on an enemy, uh, let's go fight these dudes. Nope, I gotta keep walking gotta keep walking past these dudes over here. Go over here maybe. And let's see what's up. Yeah, I can, I can just walk past those skeletons. They kinda suck. What kind of guards are those? So let's go, let's go chillax and own this guy over here, one v one. Gonna go smack you in the face with my wand. So he's fighting back right now, but this is the first mission in the game, and I suspect dying is almost impossible. I should probably check out the actual game against other players. Though if you want to get some easy XP in the game, you definitely want to check out the single player component aspect of it. I like the fact that there's a single player in the game, even though this mission right now is very easy. It's a good way to get a get a hang of the game because the tutorials are, I'm sure are kind of boring. But a game like this, I suspect you need to go through the tutorial to know what's going on. Because right now I'm still a bit lost myself, but the core gameplay mechanics from what I've seen and the variety in the game does seem kind of cool. I'll check out the store afterwards. This guy's not dying over there. Maybe I should uh, perform a flanking attack, which is always a critical hit on the Phantom Scoundrel by positioning your Planeswalker directly across from the Elvish Warrior. So that's the Elvish Warrior over there. I gotta go flank this guy. Go over here, and now we get to spank, <laughs> spank him, I was gonna say. There we go. We just critted him in the face. He just got backstabbed by the Elvish Warrior. And Elvish Warriors in Magic the Gathering cost two green mana, not one green mana. But that doesn't really matter. That's the card game. This is the this is the tactics game over here. And I like the fact that Magic the Gathering is kind of doing all these cool things now. Because the card game I think is really awesome. There's actually a Magic the Gathering online. But it's it's largely pay to play. I think it's uh, it's buy to play. Not really pay to play. Because you have to buy all the cards individually on there. At least over here you can play for free on some some aspects of it. Because you start, I'm sure you start with enough cards to actually play. And you can actually buy cards from other players in the game's auction house. With in-game money which uh, I've yet to see yet. So let's see what's up over here. Trigger a globe matching one of the colors mana wheel you have on your mana wheel. What is what is going on with my mana wheels? So let's go over here because I have 11 green mana. Let's see what's up. Oh man, we got another dude summoned over here. And now we get to kill this guy. Defeat the instructor Dolarki using your creature's spells from your spell book. Oh man, guys, I finally have spells to use. So yep, on the left side over here, as I suspected, is my spell book. So let's see. I got, I got a lot of mana, so I should be good to go. Let's go use... Uh, that's my main dude over there, I think. Let's go... What is this over here? I got this dude over here. Can we make this guy attack? Nope, we can move him though. He's a, wow, he takes a four spots. What a baller. But yeah, I don't think I still don't think I can summon anything right now. So now is actually some actual gameplay going on. These are my enemies over here. These two dudes and that dude over there. Let's go. We should gank this guy first. He's got the least HP. 40. So yeah, let's go gank this guy over here. Whose turn is it right now? I can go use my skeleton again. Not my skeleton, my big uh this guy over here. But he can't even get near him. What's up with that? Maybe I gotta go a bit closer. Let's go with this guy over here. Can I can I fight this guy yet? Or is he off in the corner? I uh, can't do anything with, these, with this guy yet either. Let's go check out my main dude. Uh, this guy's too far away. I don't know why. I guess we can go up over here and see what's up. We can go to this guy over here. And there we go. It's this guy's turn right now. Can he... Nope, he can't really do anything either. I want to I shoot this guy, but not quite working. Maybe in a poor position. Let's go right over there. We can kind of flank him with this guy. My pro strategies. So, yep, it's this guy's turn right now. And uh, what is going on? Can we... I just realized something. That guy's on my team. I am such a scrub. Wow. At least I think he's on my team. Let's see what's up. Yeah, he is on my team. What am I doing? I'm trying to flank my own dude. I am I was totally confused there for a second. But you know what, guys? I got my bearings. Let's figure this out right now. So I got four dudes against two dudes. I think I, I, got, I got the edge over here. So I think my turn's almost done. I kind of wasted his turn over there. But you know what? I am good to go. It is his turn right now. He's kind of chillaxing. Ooh, I can finally use some spells over here. This is my spells down over here. I got spells down here. There's creature cards as well as spell cards, it looks like. Creature cards are the dudes on here I can summon. But I got spells as well, which can enhance stuff. Enchant creature gets plus 20, plus 40, and can't move. That's kind of weird. It kind of stuns my own dude if I want to do it on my guy. But makes him pretty good defensive. I can do Guided Strike. Target creature gets plus 10, plus 0, and gains first strike until end of turn. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, keywords in this game which require practice to learn. First strike means I get to attack first in battle. Pretty simple enough. This stuff like trample and things like that too. But let's use elvish agility on. I, I even read what it did, but you know what? I want on the mana. You wish to spend on this spell. I gotta use two uh, green manas anyway. So there you go. It takes two mana, and let's go buff. Uh, let's go buff the spider. I mean, the spider can use some buffs. He's a cool guy. 
So he's got some elvish agility on him, so I'm not sure what's going on right now. I can use guided uh, guided strike over there, but you know what? Target allies creature makes a move. You know what? Let's go do it on my guy. Let's go use this over here, which I guess gives me another turn, which is kind of cool. Yeah, he gets to go again. How awesome is that? Anyway, guys, if you guys do want to learn more about magic tactics online or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on mmohot.com on the link below.